Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another radio video, and today I'm going to talk about recent purchase of the U Loop HF Passive Loop Antenna. Okay, and here it is. I paid a total of $34.95 on eBay, and it took about, about two weeks to arrive here, but this is back in. August. Um, I know since then we have the uh, supply chain issue and all that, and, and and the reason why I didn't do this video back then because uh, a few other things happened in the basement, including some flooding that I had here back in September. So anyway, back. Um, the reason why I purchased this antenna is to try out the long wave band. Um, I'm very happy with the MLA thirty. MLA 30 Plus, MFJ 1886 loop with medium wave, long wave. Very happy with that. This is not a replacement for that. The um, reason why I bought this antenna is for the long wave band, which the other antennas that I mentioned have a problem with picking up going down to the long wave band. Because since they're amplified antennas, the noise floor is raised. And those signals that I'm, borderline signals that I cannot pick up, they get buried under the uh, electronic noise. From, it could be the uh, bias T, it could be the USB issue. Anyway, amplified antennas, unless you have like a Wellbrook type antenna, which I don't have, um, are going to have issues on long wave. Okay, so I saw several YouTubers that tried this antenna, the Yulu, on long wave and got in great results. You know, mind you, um, I believe most of them live in Europe. So Europe, obviously, long wave broadcast bands is more, you can receive it better in Europe, obviously. So, but they also picked up time signals. So that got me thinking, hmm, maybe I should just try this antenna here in the United States and see if I can pick up those non-directional beacons or even the time signal, WWVB on 60 kilohertz, which I never managed to pick up on my loop antennas. The only time I picked up that signal was with my disc on antenna. And that was a while back. I even made a video on this. It's going to be right. The link is going to be right there. I got a QSL for that video, actually. And that was with a disc on antenna. And that was, uh, basically, it was like, I think it happened one other time after that. And I never picked up that signal again on that particular antenna. You know? Um, it's just one of those things, man. I, I don't know if the, uh, whatever noise, that, that day was perfect conditions, I'm going to call it. And that's how I picked up that signal. But ever since then, I cannot pick up that signal with, in, with my other antennas. So that's why I want to try this one. To see if I can do that. And I saw those YouTube channels and they this seems to do very well in long ways. Because this is not an active antenna. This is a passive antenna. So there's no power going in here. And of course the signals are going to be less. But the noise floor is going to be a lot lower. And therefore, you should be able to at least pick up an audible signal on this. That's my expectation of this antenna. Okay, so let me just describe uh, briefly about this antenna. It's very simple. You have one element on this side. It's pretty rigid cable. This is what they call the transformer. This is where you connect to your receiver. Okay, and then let me just flip it around over here. Try not to knock this thing over over here. This is the top of it. This is called the crossover. Okay. So its total is about six feet. Not six feet, excuse me. So this part of the element is about three feet long, and then this side is three feet long. So it's about six feet of wire total. And it comes with six feet of uh cable to hook up to your radio. However, uh, this is not going to be enough for me. So I'm going to use this with the uh, 50 foot extension. Now, this antenna, they also recommend that you use it with this type of radio. 
This is what they consider a HDR type SDR receiver. So you have the SDR Play RSPDX. Okay. They recommend something like this with this antenna to get the full uh, capabilities of this antenna. They also recommend the HF Plus Discovery from AirSpy. That is another model that they recommend you use this antenna. In fact, if you go to airspy.com, I always airspy that you use. Anyway, if you search airspy, they do have a bundle that you can buy that receiver with this antenna at a discounted price. Again, I paid $34.95 for this antenna on eBay. I'm going to put an Amazon link below for this antenna. We're going to take this outside. We're going to mount it. And also, I'm going to try to weatherproof this. So as you can see, I finally uh, set up the uh, U-loop. Okay. And it's right there. And I put it on a wooden type stick. Okay. It's about... Uh, about uh, the top of that loop will be about 10 feet off this ground from where I, right below me. So about 10 feet. And I got it right there. And it, I sealed it up with the electrical tape. Okay. On the transformer and on the uh, crossover up there. Because like I said before, I wanted to make sure this thing was water uh, sealed, you know, so that way it can last. It's going to be out here for a while. And I want to really test this antenna. Okay, and it's going down to the uh, where it meets right there. The six foot wire meets with the uh, 50 foot, 50 feet extension SMA. And that's going down to the boiler room on this side through the vent. And that's going to be hooked up to the SDR. And then we can do test on that. So there you go. So it's all set up. We're good to ready to go. And I'll be doing receptions on this. Uh, see how it performs on long wave. And while I'm out here, I'm going to show you the antennas. Of course, the MFJ1886 loop is still there. The original one. It's been up there for quite a few years. And, of course, over there I have the other MFJ1886 loop. The one that I bought uh, about a year ago. And that one is performing pretty well. And, of course, I don't have the MF MLA30 Plus here because this is the one that took over the spot. So I'm going to have to find a new spot for that one. In the meanwhile, I'll be testing this one out. I'll put our reception reports on it and videos and so on and see how this performs. Hopefully, um, this will do the job. And I'll give my review on this one. The U-loop uh, passive loop antenna. And we'll see how it, how it performs. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.